Hello everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can create list view in Android Studio and display a particular message on the screen once you click on any item of the list view. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Savan. Welcome to the channel. Alright, so here I have created a new project, the name is list view. So the first thing that we are going to do is we'll take the list view inside our UI that is the XML file. So first of all, I'll delete this. Okay, as you can see, it is the constraint layout here. Yeah, I'll search list view. I'll just select this and drag it inside the constraint layout. Then I'll just select all of these so that it gets adjusted inside the constraint layout. If you don't know how to use it. It's on the top right of the screen right now, the constraint layout video. Okay. Now we have taken the list view inside the constraint layout. Now the first thing that we'll do is we'll just select this and we'll give it an ID list view. I'll just keep it simple. Hit enter. Then we have taken the layout, uh, the view inside the layout and we have given an ID. So we are done with the UI part. You can play with the UI later, but I'm just going to teach you the basic. Okay. Now we'll go to the Java file. Now there are three steps that you have to do inside the Java file. First one is that we have to create an object for the list view and we have to assign it with the particular view. Okay. Second thing is that we have to create whatever content we want to put inside the list view. I'll just create an array, simple array. Okay. And the third thing is that we'll connect both of them so that the content will be visible inside the list view when we run the application. Okay. Easy. So let's get ahead with the first step. Here I'll write list view. Wait a second, not list, list view. Okay. List view space. I'll take list view object name. And then here I'll write find view by id r dot id dot list view. Done with the semicolon. So this was our first step. We have taken an object and we have assigned it to the view. Then with that second thing, now we have to create the content which we want to put inside it. So I'll create an array list, which will be of type string, right? We have to take names and then we'll have to name that object. So I'll write array list simple equals to new space array list of type string and semicolon now there are two methods by which you can take the content inside the array list first method is the very basic one we'll just have to type the name of the object dot add here we'll have a semicolon and inside we'll write whatever we, we want i'll just write the name of the friends characters okay so i'll rachel i'll take okay so i have written one of it and then i'll just control d Remember this shortcut, it's very useful. And here I'll write the names of all the other characters like Monica, Chandler, Ross. So you get the idea, right? So this is the first method. So once we have used this method, now I'll teach you the second method. Second method is also very easy. I'll just erase it, this thing for first. Okay. Now we've written this right now inside this part, I'll write as list. Okay. And then open braces. Now it will give an error, just alt enter and then select the second one import static method java.util.array.as list select this done. And inside this we'll write whatever content we want in quotes. Okay. I'll just take Rachel, comma, what's Monica, comma, Chandler, comma, Ross. Done. So this is the second method. Now you can choose any one of the methods. No problem with that. It's totally your choice. Okay. Now I'm just going to use the first method. So it will be easy for you. It will be visible for you. Okay. I'll just control Z. Okay. So I'll just go on adding these control D. I'll just fast forward this.
okay so i have taken all the content now you ask me why i copied this whole thing again is to show you that if you take more than the limit of the screen then it will automatically integrate the scroll view kind of thing so you can scroll on the screen by using the constraint layout itself okay so the second step is done we have taken the array list we have taken the content we want now the third step is connecting both of them so here what we are going to do is we are going to use adapter now what adapter does is it's a kind of a bridge to connect whatever your content is with the list view okay so let's start with that we'll take an array adapter of type string okay we'll take the object name for it array adapter equals to new array adapter and or uh, sorry it will be of type string and here we'll have a semicolon then with it now inside the array adapter you have to type a few things okay first one is context which will be this and then give com then with the context now second thing as you can see here is the layout now while using list view there are various layouts which you can use i'll show you uh, i'll show it to you right now so first what you type is android dot r dot layout dot and here as you can see there are various kinds of layouts okay dialog item expandable list content and various other stuff gallery item so that you can use all that images on and all that stuff okay so now we are just taking simple strings so i'll just take this simple list item okay i'll select this one once you're done with that comma and the last thing is whatever your content is now here up here the content is an array and the name of the object is array list so what we'll do is we'll type here array list done so the array adapter is created now the main part will uh, set the adapter to the particular list view so see list view so i'll write the name list view dot set adapter and the name of the object of the adapter is array adapter done so this these were the three steps so that you can create the list view okay now if you run the application uh, it will look like this all right so now the next part is now i'm going to show you how you can show a particular message on the screen when you click on any item of the list view so let's get ahead with that okay here what we'll do first of all is we'll take the list view dot set on item click listener okay inside this we'll type new adapter view dot on item click listener okay and it will just auto fill this content now inside this what we'll type is we want to show a message on the screen right so i'll just write toast create a new toast here i'll write i'll just take let's say hello space whatever the name of the selected item so we'll just take the concatenate operator and here what we'll do is see this array list right so we'll take the same object name array list dot get and inside that we'll take position done so this is how you can show any toast message now the code is totally done the three steps here are done and how you can show a particular message when you click on the particular item okay now i'm just going to run this on the mobile phone and i'm going to show you the final out all right so this is the application let's click on it and as you can see the list view is successfully implemented all the content which I, we had taken is here and now i had taken it twice right the same content again just to show you this thing now it is a constraint layout right so if we fill more content than the screen size see scroll view will automatically get integrated you can scroll through all the content if you want okay now the second thing is that i had shown you it will show a message so let's click on monica hello monica 
hello phoebe hello janice so as you can see the core is successfully implemented now let's get back to the video so that was how you can create a particular list view and show a particular message whenever you click on any item of the list view now if you find any value in this video if you find it informative do like it share it with your friends who don't know about this feature and consider subscribing to the channel i post android studio tutorial videos every week and i have got a whole series based on android studio tutorials the link is in the description go ahead and click it if you want to watch other videos and yeah thank you for watching the video bye bye